Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you guys all. Ako po si Herbert Bakon, founder and president ng Leaders in Organized Networking. Now, the topic for our training today is the arts of centering. Now, dito sa arts of centering is the house of our business. Center is like any human being. Could you live without a house? May ibang tao dyan, they could live in the streets, meaning squatter sila. Pero sa totoo lang, every human needs a house. Everyone needs a place to go home to. So centering sa negosyo natin sa multi-level marketing, bahay natin ang centering. So kalangan natin umuwi sa bahay. Yung center is known as a headquarters. It's also known as a university to gain knowledge and to motivate one another. Share knowledge and experience and recharge yourself. Believe me, my first month dito sa multi-level marketing ito, way back 12 years ago, every time na pupunta ako sa office, lagi ako na re-recharge. Yung lahat na negative na nangyari sa akin at disappointments na nangyari, bumabalik lang ako sa office, recharge na recharge ako. As a networker, the home for you is the office so you could recharge yourself. The center is a place where you could actually conduct events like marketing plan presentations and trainings, conduct kayong mga goal setting meetings. At ito lang, just to learn how to goal set, please, I refer you to the arts of goal setting. Katulang ang sabi ni Napoleon Hill, Whatever the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. Your center can also be a place so you can monitor your group every week to see the growth of your business. At yung main office or satellite office near you is called a center. Even a house can be called a center. Dito mo ikakonduct yung mga home parties or yung mga meetings mo. Pwede din niya maging center. It doesn't have to be necessarily an office. And one thing for sure, home parties is where the money is at. Kung maruno kayo mag-conduct ng home parties, it's very powerful. Now, the main purpose for a center is to create a positive culture. So, sa pag-create ng positive culture, kunyari sa presentation, pag may nagustuhan ka narinig sa upline mo sa speaker, pumalakpak kayo para yung positive atmosphere maging mas malakas sa surroundings at sa mga guests. Believe me, papalakpak din mga guests mo pag lahat ng mga tao, yung mga uplines mo, mga crosslines mo, mga downlines mo, or even ikaw, at mga members sa company mo, pag yan pumalakpak, pati mga guests mo din papalakpak. Kaya sabihin ko sa'yo, doon pa lang, you can create a positive atmosphere and a positive image sa company nyo. And you're also making the presentation more fun at hindi boring at hindi patay. Diba? Number two is to surround yourself with positive people with the same goal. Birds with the same feathers flocks together. Parang sinasabi lagi ng lola ko dati, Tell me who your friends and I'll tell you who you are. You know what? This is actually true. Sa totoo lang, kung puro tambay ang lagi mo kasama, ano mong iyayari sa'yo? Baka maging tambay ka rin. Kung puro adik ang lagi kasama mo, maging adik ka rin. Kung puro lasanggero ang kasama mo, magiging lasanggero ka rin. Pag mahilig mag-basketball, hihilig ka din sa basketball. Kaya be careful of who you hang around with. If you hang around with positive people and successful people, then you yourself will be positive and successful. And the last purpose for centering is to retain your organization. Centering is a form of bonding to create a deeper relationship with your people. This is where you'll get to know your people through trainings and to uh, sharing your dreams and goals and helping out one another, dito nyo ma-retain ang grupo mo. Pag hindi kayo magsa-center at hindi kayo pupunta sa office or magkakonduct kayo na sariling center sa sariling bahay, alam mo mangyayari, babaksak ang network mo. Kaya set some of your time to go to your center either sa office or either sa bahay or sa mga satellite office. Now, the power of home parties. This is a must for every network marketer is to know how to conduct and organize a home party. Now, here's how you organize your home party. Now, home party preparation. Number one, coordinate with your uplines and your upline leaders. You need two small table or one big table, one table for the products and one table for the laptop. Pag wala kayong laptop, mag-invest kayo sa whiteboard. Upline leaders must at least have a whiteboard. Someday, pag kumikita na kayo na napakalaki, mag-invest kayo sa projector. Have your tools ready. DVDs, mga clearbox mo for the marketing plan or sa mga products. Have your DVDs ready so you can play them in your laptop or the projector or your TV. Have chairs for 10 or more guests. Bumili din kayo mga disposable cups, 
mga refreshments nyo, kahit litro pack lang yan, tsaka mga cupcakes, or coffee, at mga potato chips. Huwag kayo bumili masyado ng mga mamahalin na pagkain katulad ng pizza or mga spaghetti. Sabihin ko sa iyo, malulugi kayo. Kaya okay lang sa mga ganyan sinking refreshment lang sa mga iced tea, coffee, cupcakes, at chips. Also have your attendance form. Sa lahat mga tao mag aten ililista mo yung name nila, contact number, referred by kung sino yung magiging sponsor at yung event. Get your application forms ready. Speakers to play your positive music and hear your company video. Ito mga home party guidelines. Kung sino magkakonduct, the host must do the introductions. Paano mo gagawin yung introduction mo? Sabihin mo lang yung story mo kung bakit ka nag-join at introduce mo na yung speaker. The host must assist the speaker at all times. Now, ito yung guidelines. Before you introduce the speaker, make sure you know about the ABC rule. The A is the advisor, meaning the speaker or upline. The B is the bridge, which is you. Yung C, yung clients, yung mga guests mo. You're gonna say a lot of good things about your upline. Psychological study shows, pag ginawa mo to, mas makikinig yung mga guests mo sa upline mo na magpapresent ng opportunity kesa sa mga tao na iti up mo, mga guests mo. Kasi lalaki lang ulo nila at hindi sila makikinig. Cutting the pie. Divide the audience into three groups. This is after the presentation. In first group, ito yung mga tao na interested sa negosyo. Ito yung mga tao na pupunta sa upline mo para pwede kausapin ng upline mo sa meeting after meeting. Ito yung mga tao na interesado lang sa produkto. Ito naman, kahit sa host na pumunta, sa'yo na. Kausapin mo, bibigay mo sila mga information about the products. Number three, ito yung mga tao na hindi interesado sa products o sa negosyo. Pakainan mo lang sila, painumin mo ng kape, pauwiin mo na sila. ASAP, as soon as possible. Kasi mga negative mga yan, ayaw mo madamay ang mga negative sa mga positive mo tao na bibili ng produkto at gusto sumali sa negosyo mo. Negativeness is contagious. So make sure to send them home ASAP. Now here are my 7 tips in having a successful home party. Number 1. Be upfront about your intentions. Pag in-invite mo mga guests mo, sabihin mo sa kanila may short presentation on how we can make extra money. Huwag mo sabihin sa kanila na dinner party to. Alam mo ba, you have no idea how offensive and insulting that can be to somebody. Number 2. Over-invite. Hindi lahat ng tao nagsabi, oo, pupunta sila, pupunta sila. Kaya you have to over-invite. Number 3. I-ready nyo na mga application form. Have them passed out by the host towards the end of the presentation. Simple lang yan. Pag sinabi ng upline mo o yung speaker, o oh, sino gusto sumali, ipasa nyo ng mga application form sa mga tao. Number 4. Play your company videos or ilatag nyo mga product brochure nyo sa table. Yung mga tao kasi habang naghihintay, meron gusto sila mapanood o mabasa. Kaya before the meeting starts, dapat meron kayong mga brochure at meron kayong mga videos sa company mo na pwede na panoorin bago magsimula ang presentation. Number 5. Make it fun. Dapat masaya. Kung gusto mo mag-exert ka ng extra effort, mag ka ng mga balloons around your mailbox, magkaroon ka ng upbeat music ongoing, create an even more fun atmosphere kesa sa napaka-boring na presentation. Number 6. Have your team commit in contributing something. Alam mo sa totoo lang, this is business. Eh, yung mga tao na kunyari, magkakaroon kayo ng home party sa ganitong bahay, idadala mo din mga tao mo or pupunta ka, mag-contribute naman kayo. Kahit konti lang, kahit isang litro pack lang, o mga tinapay, o mga chippies, mag-contribute ka. Kasi kawawa naman si host pag lagi siya ang taya. So, if you're in the team, please contribute. Number seven, the power is in the follow-up. Sa mga presentation mo, make sure to follow up. Again, please watch the arts of sponsoring. Pag ayaw mo mag-conduct ng home parties kasi masyadong mabusisi or hindi mo alam or takot ka, then it's important for you and your guests sa mga downlines mo pumunta sa office. Kasi kung hindi kayo pumunta sa office, hindi ka umuwi sa bahay, mamamatay ka sa labas. So that's how you conduct and organize a successful home party. I'd like to thank you guys all for watching this audiovisual presentation of the Arts of Centering. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Ako po ulit si Herbert Arbacod saying good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you guys all. May you guys all have a wonderful day. God bless and happy networking.